بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی رسول اللہ مباد Brothers and sisters in Islam, today we are reading from this excellent classical text on basic Islamic belief called Al-Aqeedatul Vasitiyya. Al-Aqeedatul Vasitiyya. So we'll be reading the English text today, just one page. All right, let's begin. Bismillah. All praise is due to Allah, the one who sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth in order to make it uppermost over all religions. And sufficient is Allah as a witness. Chapter 48, verse 28. I testify openly that none that no one deserves any worship other than Allah alone without any partners I emphasize this and hold to it true Islamic monotheism I further testify that Muhammad was his worshipful servant and messenger may Allah raise his rank let me use my right hand May Allah raise his rank and that of his family and companions, and may he grant them all abundance of safety. As for what follows, this is the creed of the saved sect, those aided until the arrival of the last hour, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. It is to believe in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers, and the resurrection after death, believing in Qadr, is included as well, both the good and the bad of it. Part of believing in Allah is to believe in what He has described Himself with in His honored book, as well as what His Messenger, Muhammad, may Allah raise His rank and grant Him peace, describe Him with. This is without any tahrif, distortion, nor any ta'deel, denial. It is also without takyif, seeking details, nor any tamthil claim of resemblance. Instead, they believe that Allah is as He has stated. Nothing bears any resemblance to Him, while He is the all-seeing, all-hearing, all-seeing. يعني ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير. Nothing bears any resemblance to Him. While he is the all hearing, the all seeing. Chapter 40, verse 11. An extremely important ayah. They do not negate anything which he has described himself with. They do not twist the meanings of the words of divine text. They do not deviate in understanding the names of Allah or his verses. They do not seek after the specific details of his attributes. Like if he is Istava, Kaif Istava, you know, and uh, if he has fingers, he has eyes of what kind, what shape, what color, you know, like going into the details of the attributes. La Jews, it's not allowed. They do not believe there is any similarity at all between his attributes and that of his creation as there is nothing like him, nor is there anyone who could do what he does. He has no partner, nor can anything of his creation be compared to him. Exalted and lofty is he. He, the exalted one, knows best about himself and all others. He is the most truthful in speech, and he is better in discourse than any of his creation. Furthermore, his messengers were truthful people who are rightfully believed, as opposed to those who would speak on his behalf without knowledge. He has said, exalted be he, 
Lord of Honor, above what they describe him with. Peace be upon the messengers and all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all that exists. Chapter 37, verse 180 to 182. With this he has exonerated himself from what the opponents of messengers described him with and declared that peace and security is for the messengers because of the pure speech free of deficiencies and faults so he the exalted has named and described himself with combinations of negations that is of false notions and affirmations of perfection that is it we suffice now it's just a so short session today you know originally actually this text is in Arabic language all right but I'm just reading the I'm gonna read the complete text of the English translation this is just a translation remember English language translation can never be close anywhere close to the real local Arabia you know just bear this in mind so this translation is just somehow close in meanings to the so somehow close to the intended meaning but you will not understand it exactly until you read until you learn local Arabia and then you read directly yourself you know what I'm saying and also let me mention that you are actually supposed to uh, first of all sorry about the background music I'm in the public place uh, we are actually supposed to hear the text al aqidat al wasatiyah with a ma'roof sheikh a big sheikh a well known sheikh you know uh, a senior scholar of Islam we should actually study this text under him to understand the right meanings you know because what is transferred between the scholars in chains of narrations and uh, gatherings of knowledge that cannot be understood by any person just sitting with the book and trying to understand Islam that is a major fallacy that's a major misconception today that people think that you can just read Quran and Sunnah and you will be guided you will understand the right uh, Faham, you know the right understanding of Sahaba La Yumkin Abadan Not possible at all, you know You have to follow the way of the Salaf Just like the Sahaba went to the Messenger of Allah To learn their religion We have to go to the senior scholars To learn our religion Why? Because Al-Ulama'u Warathatul Anbiya because Messenger of Allah said that scholars are the inheritors of the prophets, right? So there, there is no escaping this. However hard it is, however lazy you are, however many excuses you have of not going to the scholars, we try drive thousands of miles just to eat in a good place, just to have a good family time and you name it uh, to attend someone's wedding whatever for education so-called education we travel miles why can't we travel for the sake of Allah that's my question that we should be asking ourselves why if we claim to love Allah why can't we travel for his sake what is the issue the reality of the matter is we don't really love Allah we don't really fear Allah and we don't really hope for Jannah from Allah this is a fact because if we really did then we would not have misplaced priorities all right that's it so inshallah I'll be presenting to you on every Friday one page from this great text you know alhamdulillah subhanakallah alhamdi may Allah accept this sincerely for his sake, subhanakallah, bihamdika, shalla ilaha illa, astaghfirullah, tubalik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.